This question is saying, if the statement below is true, then which other statement must also be true? And what we know about conditional statements, or if-then statements, are that if I take its two pieces, if p, then q, and I flip them and put nots in front of them, so turn if p, then q into if not q, then not p, that's called the contrapositive. And if the conditional statement is true, then its contrapositive must be true. It's always true. And so this will help me answer how to do this question. I'm going to read the statement, figure out what P and Q are, then go through the four different possibilities and figure out which one is my contrapositive, therefore it must be true. So my statement says, if something is a lion, then it must be a cat. So if something is a lion, if P, then it must be a cat, then Q. Now let's go through our statements. If something is not a cat, if not Q, then it must be a lion. Well, that's then P. There's no not there. So that is not my contrapositive. That one isn't correct. If something is a cat, well, that's if Q. There's no not there. So I know that this isn't a contrapositive. Then P, not my contrapositive. And this one also starts with if Q. And this one is then not P, but that's again not my contrapositive, which is if not Q, then not P. So that's not true. But this statement, if something is not a cat, if not Q, then it must not be a lion, then not P. That is my contrapositive, so therefore my answer to this question is B.